Hello everyone. I hope you are doing great. In today's class, we're gonna learn about writing types because there are different kinds of tasks that you have to know about so that uh, when it comes to writing, you know what to do because of the type that you are completely familiar with. But before getting us started, I would like to invite you to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that, because that way I will understand that I've got you beside me and as a community, I have that kind of encouragement and courage to go for more uh, production and stuff like this. Thank you in advance and let's get started. So there are two writing types. Let's talk about the basic organization. The two most common essay types we have here, one of them is called the argument-led or evidence-led and the other one is called the thesis-led. Of course, you do not need to know about these very fancy names, but as far as you just need to recognize them, I'm just telling you about their names. There are very clear differences and very clear similarities between these two types of writing. Let's talk about them. The first rule is that they won't tell you, they means IELTS, uh, what kind of topic, what kind of uh, writing style you should be looking for. IELTS does not say write the thesis led or the other one. They will give you a topic and you are the responsible person to understand and distinguish which type exactly you should be writing on and uh, you know following that kind of structure. So you need to decide on uh, the kind of topic and, uh, of course, uh, the kind of uh, style that you should be looking for. There is some flexibility there. Sometimes you can write the thesis-led or write the argument-led. It is up to you. So we will get to know in more detail. But right now, let's understand the difference. So firstly, we should know what kind of difference and uh, what kind of actually topic we are exactly uh, talking about here. So the first thing that I would like to grab your attention to is about the argument-led, so evidence-led is called as well. I want you to think about your judge in a courtroom. What you're going to do is you're going to hear an argument between two sides, okay, this side and the other one. How does it work? Well, you're going to give an introduction that contains uh, some very clear information. Well, your first sentence is going to introduce the topic. It is going to be a general statement. This is not having an opinion, but it is a general and true statement that tells the reader what the topic is. So you might say something like, nowadays, nuclear energy is a popular way to provide electricity. So as you can see, it's a general and uh, true, uh, let's say, statement. In modern society, playing video games has become very popular for teenagers. Is that true? Yes. So when you read the sentence, you know, hey, this essay is about technology and teenagers. It tells the readers what the essay is going to be about. So a very good and powerful introduction needs to have this element. In recent times, increasing the numbers of students go abroad for university study. Is that true? Yes, it is. Reading that context statement tells the reader this is what the essay is about. After you give the context to the reader, you need to introduce that there are two sides to this context. So you could say something like, nowadays going abroad for university study is increasingly popular. Some people think this brings a lot of disadvantages. However, other people claim it brings a lot of benefits. I just draw up a topic and I'm bringing that some people think this, other people think that. No personal opinions. If you read an essay and gives you two impersonal opinions, you don't expect that it focuses on one side. You expect that it tells you, I don't know what my opinion is. I'm looking at both sides. So you are very actually objective in this regard. If I wrote an essay that in the introduction it said, Smartphones are very popular nowadays. I think apples make the best smartphones. Do you think it's uh, somehow odd? Do you think I'm spending the whole paragraph talking about how great Samsung is? No. When I give you a clear personal opinion, you know, I've already made my decision and I'm going to talk about that decision. On the other hand, when I give you two impersonal opinions, like what we did, 
When I say nowadays smartphones have become very popular, some people really like Samsung. However, a lot of people like Apple's. Do I have a clear personal opinion here? No, you don't know what my opinion is. You don't know what I think because I haven't expressed my opinion yet. Therefore, I'm signaling to you that I don't know what I think. I'm going to spend my essay talking about both of these things objectively. In the introduction, you are basically giving me the context and two main ideas: what the first one is and what the second one is. You are signaling what the main ideas are. Now, I expect in the body paragraphs, in the body paragraphs, you are going、uh, to give the reader the supporting ideas to support the main ideas, and that's exactly what you are going to do. You're going to write two body paragraphs. One body paragraph will be talking about the reasons for one opinion, while the other body paragraph would be specified to the elaboration of the other opinion. And the list goes on. So the conclusion: What do you do? It's easy. You can certainly remind the reader of what the topic was. You can paraphrase yourself. Basically, you will paraphrase the sentence you wrote in the introduction. So actually, you are repeating yourself, but with different words. The first sentence of the introduction might look very similar, but not identical to the first sentence of your conclusion, because you are trying to paraphrase it. Then you rephrase and summarize the two opinions like keywords. In conclusion, studying abroad is very popular these days. Some people claim that causes homesickness and it is too expensive, while other people think it creates opportunities for education and personal development. You just told me the two main ideas from both sides.